Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a John Lewis and Partners vacuum cleaner. It has a number on it, I think, somewhere. Um, looking at it, it seems to work just fine. So, why was it thrown away? Well, let's get into it. Um, there's a clue. There's another clue, if you can see that. Let's have a look down this end. Pretty clear down that end. So I'm presuming there's something stuck all the way up here. Let's get a pokey. A stick to other people. Or in this case, a piece of copper pipe. Let's put a cup there to try and catch it, because uh, I'm forever making a mess. Yeah, a little sausage of dust there. Not too bad. And so this bit here, let's click that. that release, click there. Okay, this is a button. button there to release it and uh, I'm gonna get this out screwdriver sometimes I use that little hook tool that I have I can't get that in there let's go fishing this direction there's a little shield or something in there let's try and yeah it's pulling through somebody else's hair is always delightful excuse my finger Oh, there's a little flap, there's a little flap valve in there. I'm not sure what that what purpose that serves, but it's there anyways. So that's what came out of it. Maybe it works now. Let's have a look at the bottom. It's pretty grimy. It looks okay, bit of wire there, bit of fluff stuck in the rollers. This is a thing that seems to come up quite frequently is that rollers get blocked. So if I get a screwdriver and jam it right in there, it just pops out. Then there's a little shaft that rolls through like that. Clean that off. The hole is then clean. It just snaps back in, or at least it should. With your fingers, this side's not as bad. If you could, if you could hook it off, it would be easier than pulling the wheel out. But if you can't, then you've got to do what you got to do. course i didn't pay for this so i have no interest in fretting about whether i do any damage I've just uh you know i've kind of damaged that rubber wheel there i really don't care <laughs> i'd rather get it going i'm not entirely sure what i'm going to do with it because i don't think i have a charger it's got this bizarre charging port there on the side and it's a 14.4 volt battery so it's not it's not a massive battery either so here's lock and unlock down here open that what does that unlock? Um, let's see. That flips out. There's crud in there. But this should lift out. That's what I would be hoping. Yeah. Oh dear me. Look at this. You're not going to get much out of that. Whatever about what came up at the top end. It's a lot of fluff. That really... It's got something stuck to it if you can see like it's been used on something wet is what i would guess and once you do that then all the dust sticks to that and then the dust sticks to the dust and you're into this loop of dust toothbrush would clean this out a bit better maybe i'm just showing you how to get into it there must be a motor in here driving this little thing here i, I would guess is that clear? How would you even tell? No, it's not. I can see that there's more snots in there. A piece of coat hanger wire or something maybe would get into it. Can you see this coming out? If you try and straighten it up, maybe you could see down it. No, I can't. Let's get a torch. Yeah, there's, there's more stuff in there still piece of electrical wire, let's try that. The wire's coming out, so now I can see I've pushed a big gob of something there. Let's try the longer screwdriver in it. Some 
scraping it along the side and I can feel stuff emerging. Yeah, there's something in there. I don't really want to use my fingers. What's that? More leaves, more dust, a piece of paper or something. Now I can see clear uh, daylight, you can see it there too. So that's clean, but it's not clear. There's an opportunity on something like this to use the bottle brush. I think that's what I'll do outside and see if that cleans it up a bit. So can you see down that? Oh yeah, look at that. That was the bottle brush as well. This one, much cleaner. You can't really see in there, but it's it's come up a lot cleaner. If I was keeping this for myself, I would give that a clean. Well, you could just wipe it out. Now there's a bit more fluff stuck in those rollers. They would pop open the same way as the other ones if you were so inclined, but I think they're still rolling freely. So I won't bother. Um, that and that. This. Okay. What else is there? This thing here. Some, usually some kind of a filter in this. And then I'll clean that roller. Does this twist off? Yeah, it does. There's nothing really caught in it. It's not bad. It's a bit of dust. Whenever you clean out a vacuum cleaner, what you'll find is that... Oh, there's hair stuck in there. Where's that gone? Hmm. Right up in here, there seems to be another filter. Whenever you clean a vacuum cleaner, what happens is it gets dirty again. You know, that sounds uh, too simple, but it's uh, the truth. Lock that in and I'll just tip that in there for now. And this. Probably has a locking thing there, yeah, okay. Line it up, come on, line it up and lock it. Good. And then does this come off? Yeah, so that's the filter, it's not so bad. I don't think this has had very much use, you see. This is why I bother to have a go with these things. Snap that in there. All right, this fellow is a bit grubby. A bit of hair stuck around there. Loads of hair stuck around here. So, only because it's here. When you're dealing with something like this, you can kind of get the impression that no one else has ever done it to this appliance. And so, I probably used it and got fed up with it, but, you know, cleaning something is part of the regime. Of keeping it working. I don't know that everybody realizes that. Good luck to them. I'm trying to clear out the garage so all this stuff has been waiting for a repair or a video. Nice light brown hair. Presumably from a tall, handsome gentleman. Now, if I was going to do this for myself, I could wash that. Um, but given that I'm not using any breathing apparatus or anything to keep myself away from this, you know, most of that stuff will be skin particles and crap. Um, that, that end there goes into this end here. And then this just clips in. And then there was a piece of plastic, which I removed with great caution. And promptly, there it is promptly lost. Um, it hooks in under there, I think. I think, like that. That snaps back. This clicks on here. Battery goes in. Oh. How does that go? Snap. Does this work? Hmm, what are we missing? button's a bit tricky and I haven't got a charger for it, but John Lewis and Partners, I didn't get a model number, 
come into. Let's see what we have here. Model JL cordless stick. They really went to town dreaming that one up. JL cordless stick, 14.4 volts. Cool. There you go, JL cordless stick. I wonder why it's not JLMP cordless stick. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.